Hello everyone and welcome back to Mail. This time for the month of May 2018, we've got a uh, pretty, pretty good pile yeah. of stuff here. So let's not waste any time and jump straight to it. The first letter is from... Howie in Okina, Ohio. Howie is our featured letter and uh, Howie writes... Dear Stephen and Mallory George. Hello you two, my name is Howie. I'm 17 years old from Ohio. I first found Stephen Plays during Chugga Conroy's Let's Play on Pikmin 2 in the battle mode. You really gave it your all. Although it took me a while to get into your content, the first Let's Play I watched was your Firewatch Let's Play. I really fell in love during the Cat World Let's Play 2, and I love the adventures of the Barry Cousins. Anyway, I have a friend who is living in Myrtle Beach. He's a really cool guy. If you wouldn't mind giving him a shout out, his name is Jen. Jen! That was it. Uh, I just wanted to write to show my appreciation for everything you do from Mal's uh, artwork, the Let's Plays and the vlogs, and the work on Chugga Conroy's channel. Warm regards, Howie. Howie, thank you for the letter. We sincerely appreciate it. Now we're going to get started on the reasonable pile of the packages. And our first package. It's from Mike in Hamilton, Ontario. Right there. Yes, you did it. That was correct. And we have this cute little cube of a box from Mike. And there is a- It's a cube of a box. Letter on top. And there are really cool alternatives to packing peanuts in here. This says, Dear Stephen Mao, I'll make this short. It's been a while. Hope all is well. But the quick question, what's better and easier for streaming on Twitch, OBS or any other recommendations? Um, I use OBS. It's, it's, well, I mean, it's in the name, it's open broadcast software. So like there's all these people working on it because it's open source, which is really cool. Uh, there's other alternatives and some people really like uh, XSplit, but personally OBS is free and that's what I would I would use. If you can get used to using it, I, I think that that's a, a great way to go. Enclosed is a gift for you all. Steven's is green, Mallory's is red, Lindsay's is orange, and Dan's is blue. Have you figured it out? Well, they're buried under these things that I like a lot. These are the coolest little packing little peanuts. packing peanuts ever. They, you know, they remind There's me of a lot of them. They remind me of Swiss cheese. They do. Like the old cartoons where the the mice would be in the cheese. That's what it reminds me of. You're really making it uh, making it rain over here. Like uh, I'm getting it attacked. Fortunately, the the cats are in the other room asleep because it would if they weren't they'd probably be losing their. Mine's right about now. Okay, I got them all out. Oh, look at them! That oh is so gosh. cute. Anyway, that one's Lindsay's. It says, if you haven't figured it out, they are planters. And there's mine. They're so cute. They're so cute. Here, you take those two. They're cool. they're 3D printed. Uh huh. Here's a blue 3D one. 3D printers are so cool. And then a green one. 3D printers are so cool. They are really cool. They're so cool. Oh my god, they're great. They're great. I love how they're all color coded. These are adorable. They're like little oddishes. Yeah. I I, yeah. I think them. I think they're supposed to be oddish. Mm -hmm. That is so cute. I love it. Oh my god. They could also be used to hold a small amount of candy. Or paper clips. Or yeah. Or yeah. I guess there's something other else uses. small. <laughs> I guess it was just in my mind. It was like, oh, you get to like like eat their brains, but just a very <laughs> small. Oh, never mind. That's uh, where you went with that. <laughs> I just like eating brains. I think it's pretty normal. Uh, hope to see you at the convention one day from Mike, uh, aka the real Mr. Mike or Supernatural Pirate One. Uh, Mike, thank you. These are cute. They're very cute. These are very cute. Uh, honestly, these these remind me of uh, Fobby and Poppies. Yeah, because they don't, don't have they? the like the plants like coming out of them. Because those remind me of the Oddishes, and yeah. these remind me of uh, the enemies from Earthbound. They're all super cute. Thank you, Mike. Our next package is from Elizabeth in Kent, Washington. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, there's a letter. Have the letter. Dear Stephen Mao, greetings from Washington once again. Liz here, or you may remember me uh, for my poke requests in previous letters. Mwahaha. I won't ask for pokes this time unless Mao feels the need. Did she I write do, that? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. I hadn't even gotten through that point and you've already... I'm probably bleeding internally. Uh, been staying mostly caught up with vlogs and I'm very impressed that Steven has put out three vlogs each day recently. Also very surprised how far Fallout 4 has come. Uh, I see recommended episodes for the series that came out two years ago and it blows my mind, especially having watched 
since the beginning. You keep saying how Fallout is coming up to a close, and yet it feels like there are so many more episodes to go. Guess we'll see when uh, it finally comes to a close, and the only reason I'm excited for that is Breath of the Wild. I'm going to have to attempt Master Mode uh, before you guys start playing, though, because I want to experience that playthrough again. Since I last wrote, I've actually started streaming. I'm still small time right now, but I've been consistent with it so far, so I'm proud of that. There have been some times in the past where finishing games was hard, and even harder to uh, start. Sometimes I went weeks or months without playing anything at all. Streaming has helped me keep trying new games and revisiting ones I love, most notably Wind Waker. I cry at the music at the end. Art has also been more consistent as of late, uh, both traditional and now dabbing, uh, dabbling in digital. Uh, someday I would love to sell my own art, but for now, practice and just hoping people can get a smile out of it. If I could stream and do art for a living, I think that would be my ultimate goal. Oh, right. I sent games, too! Uh, I was at GameStop one day and found some interesting gems. One I think you will both get a kick out of. Uh, the price on these games also says something about them, probably. <laughs> well, the paper thins. Instead of a poke, can you each pat each other's heads? I mean, generally, a this is like... I know. Okay. You just were like, whack. You, I think you wanted I to... I didn't you, whack! I yes. lightly caressed. I, well, it was a soft whack. Uh, thank you both for your... For all your lovely and hilarious content, let's meet back next poke, or leather, shall we? From Elizabeth, aka Alive Gamer 00. It says, P.S. Nuka World is Disneyland. Ah, uh, yeah, it's basically. Also, there's, look at this. You see this on the back? It says, Kepi sees you. <laughs> that is such a Kepi face. Like, just <laughs> solid black pupils, like. I love it. Um, first off, Congratulations, not only on like starting to stream, but staying consistent. Because consistency is the key for any sort of like success in the online space. Like you can be really good at doing YouTube videos or really good at doing streaming, but like if you aren't consistent and people can't like expect to know like when, when you're going to be doing something, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> so consistency is key. So uh, very, very good job. So what games did Elizabeth send us? Ben 10. It's like a cartoon where he's like, he's got an Apple Watch, but it like talks to aliens. I don't actually know. I don't, I've never seen the show. I knew that it existed, but I don't know actually know anything about it. He's like, hey Siri, translate what that alien said. No, don't listen to... <laughs> Sorry, my phone <laughs> heard me say the words that it listens. Four. Okay, so thank you for that. Uh, there's also, oh my, my god. Uh, Major Miner's Majestic March. What? I don't know. What? Attention, aspiring drum majors of the world. Oh, can that you, was me. Can you guide the courageous cat, Major Miner? That must, is this, that must be Major Miner. Who looks like, <laughs> he might be on something. <laughs> he's, he's just like a little drowsy. Um, through this whimsical musical adventure brought to you by Messiah Matsura, the visionary creator of the music game genre and drawn to life by renowned artist Rodney Greenblatt, Major Miner's Majestic March is an extravaganza of music and color unlike anything you've ever experienced. Huh. There's I've a little, never played a game about a drum major. There's a little, like, parade of things and it reminds me of that cat video. Oh. The... Maturity March. Anyway, um, I really like that video. I do too. Mal plays it every once in a while, and then we just stop everything we're doing, and we're like, it's good. It's really good. Oh gosh, your favorite. <laughs> Favorite Barbie game. My favorite bar. Oh, my favorite video game of all time is. Do you think it's Barbie like remastered Island. from what did we play it on? Game Boy Advance. We played a Game Boy Advance version that we beat in 35 minutes. There are 28 fun-filled, adventurous mini games. 28 fun-filled, adventurous mini games. I feel like there was they three. They each take one minute to play. You'll beat the game in half an hour. There's a dance section. I would, did, I don't remember that. The Game Boy Advance version, I'm sure, was cut down by a lot. I'm sure that it did not have all of the content that the, the console version did. Well, I guess we should play the console version. Liz, thank you. 
Our next one is from Fulton, New York. And we got a letter. No, you can't see. It is against the law. Here you go. It would be terrible if I saw. Stephen Amal, here is another Amiibo for your growing collection. I have this one already, but I saw that the Toys R Us for two bucks, so have a good Memorial Day from Bruce. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. Inside is... Ba -da 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 -da. I didn't open it quite far enough. I was doing the Zelda music, so... That's I not even I close. know, I know. This is, this is Princess Zelda Green Edition. It's, it's Palutena from the, <laughs> the Pit series. What's the name of the game? It's Pit, Pit, Pit's NES and Game Boy Adventure. Pit, Pit climbs the vertically scrolling game Pit shoots a monster. Pit, Pit, this is Pit's mom. Pit, and Pit's mom is very proud of Pit. What is the game series called? I can't, Heavenly Fighters, Heavenly Shooters. Heav it's, it has nothing to do with heaven. Pit's Heaven Adventure. Pit, I said heaven again. Pit goes up. Pit keeps jumping. Pit, Pit guy, watch out for them demons. Pit, it's uh, like in Greece. Pit, Pit's in Greece. Pit's not in the title. Do you know what the game is? What's the game called? I know what the game is. Is it on the back of the box? Pit, 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 no. It's not. It's just Palutena from Smash Brothers. Pit, originally seen in Smash Brothers for the NES and Game Boy. I, I, I have brain farted so hard. Why can't I remember what game Pit is from? <laughs> Pie Cross. Tetris. Pit from Tetris. Pit as seen in Animal Donkey Kong 64. Pit, Pit, um... Gosh darn it! I don't I don't know what what game Pit's from. You're gonna have to tell me. I don't. I don't remember either. You don't remember either. <laughs> I'm just trying to make you feel bad. Well, it was working. How? Why can't I remember the? Oh my God! Pit, 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 Pit. I wrote, I'm searching pit game, <laughs> NES. Kid Icarus, God, Kid Icarus, jeez. It just wasn't, it wasn't coming in my brain. Um, so that's why I couldn't do that. Also, one of my first, isn't there like a three, Kid Icarus game three. that is like Kid Icarus S something? Well, there's three games. There's, yeah. I, I forgot the, the most recent one. There, there might be more than three, but I'm pretty sure there's three. It's the NES, then the Game Boy, then the um, 3DS one. I don't remember what they're called. It's like Kid Icarus, Kid Icarus gets on the Game Boy, and then Kid Icarus in, oh, the revitalization of a series you haven't seen in 25 years game. I don't remember the names. Anyway, um, Bruce, thank you for, <laughs> for sending in the Palutena Amiibo. Our next package is from Calvin in San Francisco. Calvin in San Francisco, he deals in stick-based products and things for the cats. Dear Stephen Amal, hope you all enjoy the small but still awesome package. There is a present for the lovely Sagan and Kepler. I would open that last. Best witches, Calvin. I, 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 I did this because there's a little drawing. Of Meta Knight? I guess it's Meta Knight. You know what? I, you know what? Where my brain went to first, and mm -hmm. this isn't that surprising considering I couldn't even remember what game Pit was from. My first one went to the Seven Up spot, <laughs> and and like, yes, that obscure character from a soda from the nineties. There was a character for Seven Up, and his name was Spot, and he he actually he had was his, a red dot. He was a red dot, and he had arms and limbs, and that was it. And sunglasses. But, but also, he was in video games. Yeah, I know. There's games where you, it's it's a huge tie-in for 7-Up, which is really weird. But when I saw that, I didn't first think of Meta Knight. I first thought, oh, that's Spot. And he has a he has a, a sword, and he means business. <laughs> Something is not right with me. Um, so, um, my assumption is that this is the cat. I'm joking. It's just that whenever I eat these, Sagan thinks it's his and he has stolen it out of my hand like before I could even like stop him. He's yeah, so quick. Calvin, Calvin has sent these in before and um, 
Say Sagan wants, really wants these real bad, and we're like, no, this is for no, us. not for kitties. Um, but he's convinced it's it's for kitties. This is really good stuff. Yeah, too. it's good. Um, we got lemon pocky. Lemon pocky. We have banana bran. But what? <laughs> I know that's what I was thinking. I was like banana bran. Banana bran. Go go tea and pocky collaboration. Go go tea, or is that just that's banana? the same thing? Banana bran. <laughs> Strawberry. Oh no, ras Ooh, raspberry. Mallory likes ras raspberry pocky. Cheese pretz? Okay. <laughs> Questionable. And on the back there's um the Pac-Man ghost. I'm surprised I could even remember what they were called, <laughs> since apparently I've forgotten literally everything about video games. Party games? Monikers, a dumb party game that respects your intelligence. Look at that. It's got a little bear. My favorite is on the top. It looks like it's supposed to be a uh, cookie monster. Look, it's cookie monster. It's not actually, but it looks kind of oh, looks like it. S'more notes. Oh, because it. Oh, look on the side, though. Yeah, look, it's like chocolate and marshmallow. Well, yeah, it's the whole thing of the s'mores. Now I want a s'more. You can also eat these and don't do that. That's bad. That's, <laughs> don't actually eat those. Uh, there is, oh, they're dice ice cube molds. Oh, that's cool. Cool. You could and have, they're silicon? You could have like a lucky um, drink because you put like snake eye. Wait, is that bad? Snake eyes yes, is bad. that's bad. bad. So you could have an unlucky drink or you could do the sixes and that's- You could have a Yahtzee drink. You could play Yahtzee with ice. There's only dots on the left side. That's a good point. I didn't consider that at the beginning. There's this little like pencil bag. It says, right. are you kidding me right now? And then one cool cat. It's, it's like, it's like they, when you grow up, when you, you're a kid, you get the kitten and then you grow up and you got the cat because that's how, the, as a kid, you know what I mean. And then okay. finally, take the box. I got the box. The last thing are these Stella and Chewy treats. Oh my gosh, they're Sagan. No Sagan, lie, he Sagan, just walked in Sagan here. Sagan just showed up. Hi. Did you sense that you were being? Come here. You want a treat? <laughs> yes. Get over here. There's a little obstacle course because we moved some stuff oh, out of the way. Oh, there's Kepi too. Hi, buds. Come here. Buds, hi. <laughs> you want a treat? They very much want a treat. They're here. Hide this. Uh, I will move this over here. Hey, look, 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 look what I have. Look what I have. Can we <laughs> sit? Oh, oh good, good boy. We've been working on sit, although Sagan. we've we've never asked them to do it while they were on our laps. Sagan, sit. <laughs> yeah, I, think, <laughs> I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> I was I was I was really proud of Cap. Cap Cap was standing and he sat he sat right down. Cap was like, I know what that means. <laughs> You're good, sweetheart. You did good. You did good. You're a little bully. <laughs> Sagan was fueled by passion <laughs> for food, but normally normally he does sit yeah, too. We've never asked them to sit while standing on us, so I guess that's a new one for them. There's no more. There's no Cappy. more. That's it. You just get the one. Is that okay? Okay. Why don't you go? Why don't you go play somewhere? Is that all right? That's a pen. Don't eat the pen. Here, you get down, or lay on my lap. Okay. <laughs> that was funny. Like we didn't even had we hadn't even like shaken the bag or anything. Nope. They just it was just coincidence that they walked in at the, just that time. Good boys. Anyway, uh, Calvin, as as always, thank you so much for for sending in all this awesome stuff. And if the cats could, I know that they would say, "Thank you, Calvin." Also. Our next package is from Corey in Chapin, South Carolina. Oh, wow. Yeah. I saw a brief glimpse in the box, and there's lots of things in the box, but also this letter. Hey, Stephen Amount, I hope you two are doing well. Included in this package is a bunch of games I have found over the past couple of years that I wanted to pass on to you two for your collection. I want to make special note of a couple of them that would make for really interesting first 20 videos. These titles are Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, are you going to pull them yeah, out? Yeah, that's this one. Brothers, a pail, a tail of, a pail. A, a pail. <laughs> brother, <laughs> brothers carrying a pail of water. Uh, Naughty Bear. 
That's a PS3 game. I've heard of that one because I've always remembered that box art. Mm. Um, Wing Commander 3. There's a lot of games in here. Mal's picking out very specific ones, but like there's there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of games. I didn't see that one. Found it. Oh wow, that's that's cool. It's quite the box. Yeah, well, it's it's like an old PlayStation box because mm -hmm. the old PlayStation boxes were gigantic. That's really cool. It's it's Wing Commander Three, Heart of the Tiger. It looks like it has a a, a vibe of. Um, well, it's a space game, but the the fact that it's you know Wing Commander and like Heart of the Tiger makes me think of uh, Top Gun. For whatever reason, uh, and Apocalypse featuring Bruce Willis. That's a PS One game. Wasn't that that's, that was a movie, right? I assume so. Because I don't I, remember though. But maybe not. Is it based on a movie? I don't know if it's based on a movie or not. I feel like there's a movie called Apocalypse and it features Bruce Willis, but maybe, uh, maybe not. Maybe this is just a game. And it, it says, uh, take control of Bruce Willis, one of the greatest action stars of all time, motion captured and cyber scanned. That's a great buzzword. For the most intense hardcore action ever. But it's like, it's a PS1 game too. So, you know, like it's, it's going, like at the time it probably would have been revolutionary and now going back, it's going to be like very different. You know. Very different. But it's gonna be Bruce Willis, man. Anyway, um, Brothers and Naughty Bear would both be great co-op games for first 20, though Brothers has to be played with one controller. It is possible, though, as my ex-girlfriend and I did it once upon a time and it was just as fun. Naughty Bear is a game we got a few years ago at Player's Choice and finally decided that it was y'all's turn to experience this weird title. You may notice there is a factory-sealed Bionicle game for GBA in the package. I found that at a thrift store for a dollar and instantly thought you might want it for your collection. I've also included some hats for you two to wear. Uh, though many have, I haven't forgotten that you wanted us to send <laughs> stuff to put on your heads. I hope Hope these satisfy that. This is a camo Mountain Dew hat. I love it. <laughs> and it's Cappy. Oh wow. That's that's actually really cool because Mal's been playing Mario Odyssey. You can spin it on things. I know, and you get the moon. Cappy! Cappy, you want to be Cappy? Did you come back because Cappy. you're like, uh, uh, Catreed's here now? Look, you can possess Cappy. Sometimes Cappy seems like he is possessed already. I don't think he needs any help doing that. Uh, anyway, uh, I also wanted to share that I took a painting class this past semester at my college and loved it. And I thought I should at least mention that because I have been really enjoying Malmix. Anyway, enjoy the games and hats from Corey, aka Tom McSalad. Corey? Thank you, and it's good to hear from you again. Yeah, um, hope you're doing well at school and that painting was good. Let's take a look at all the other games, because again, There's like we, more should, than we just should off four. these games, but there are there are more games. There, there is, is this game. Sonic Mega Collection Plus for the original Xbox. And this game. Apache Air Assault. This game. Dead Island. This I've never played this game, but this was on our, our list of games to go through at some point. Play for like a long, long time. It's apparently a really great co-op game. This game. Dark Mirror for PSP. This game. Tales from the Borderlands. This game. Are you just saying this game? Batman Telltale? This game. Killzone Liberation. I have the demo for this. This game. Slogan Shadow. <laughs> some good PSP stuff in there. This game. SOCOM US Navy SEALs Fireteam Bravo. This other game. Met, met the original the original Medal of Honor. You just saying this game. A fishing game. Fish to win. There's two genres of video games. There's a game and there's a fishing game. Country Dance 2. Country Dance 2, playing tonight. I thought I was wondering if this was um like the I can't the the series of the games like the Just Dance, but it's not. It's it's just like Country I, Dance. It's just Country Dance. Mm -hmm. Also, I find it funny that on the back, the E10 descriptor has one descriptor, which is lyrics, but it's not centered. It's just at the top. It's like there were other descriptors in here, and they like backspaced and left the lyrics at the top. It's little, little weird things I noticed. This game. Xena Saga Episode 2. Buffy. Buffy the Vampire Slayer Chaos Bleeds for the Xbox. Oh, the original Splinter Cell for GameCube. Very, very cool. Thank you. Uh, Star Wars Phantom Menace, Episode 1. Oh, wow. Really cool. So 
Sorry, I saw this one. <laughs> I haven't seen all of all of, Any the, uh, of Star them, Wars movies, but that one. And uh, Tony Hawk's First Gear Two, probably one of the most popular PlayStation and games of all time. One? And Star Wars Jedi Power Battles, which is also Episode One, and with that's like it. Darth Maul. Corey, thank you. That's a that's a huge that's a huge collection of games and a lot of PSP stuff. You know, PSP is like I know that PS Vita at this point is kind of becoming like the forgotten handheld. Yeah. But before PSP, that was the forgotten handheld. It was PSP. Everyone seemed to. There was a lot of people I knew that had PSPs, but no one used it for the PSP games. Like everyone used it to play like Super Nintendo games, and uh, even myself. Like I had. How many PSP games? I have like six. I don't remember. Oh, I played uh, like the the GTA games on PSP. Oh, and I had. Uh, there's one that's. It's basically Gauntlet, but it's like off-brand Gauntlet. It's uh, Untold Legends. I played that with some friends back in the day. We all had PSPs and we played. It was fun. I'm, I'm getting nostalgic about the PSP. Anyway, Corey, once again, thank you for uh, for sending all this stuff our way. Our last package is from Wahiawa, Hawaii. And I had to go through that name a couple times. I'm pretty sure that that's the pronunciation. You think so? Mm-hmm. Yeah, based on, I mean, like, there's a lot of those sounding, like, words and names in, oh, holy a lot of stuff in, in Hawaii. And based on the spelling, I believe it's uh, wah Wahiawa. A big old leather, and it says, Dear Stephen Mao, after watching your videos for the better part of a year, I thought I should drop you a line and let you know how much our entire family have enjoyed your channels. I randomly stumbled across your Skyrim Let's Play and couldn't stop watching it. I knew at the time you also had a vlog, but I never watched. I guess I felt like I was being nosy, which is silly because you upload these videos as a career. As time went on, I started watching a vlog video here and there so I could get to know the amazing people behind the videos. You guys remind uh, my husband and I of friends that we had in college. Before I knew it, the entire family was hooked on your channels. Dexter, six, is a huge fan. You've got him hooked on Mario now. I also hear him speed hopping as he plays Minecraft. Maddie, nine, also enjoys Minecraft, but art is her real passion. She really looks up to Mao and enjoys watching her videos. My husband Dieter especially enjoys your vlogs because he grew up in South Carolina. He grew up near Florence. Uh, he spent many summers at Myrtle Beach, so watching your vlogs brings back many memories for him. We're actually in the process of moving to Maryland, and he's hoping that we'll get down to South Carolina one summer so he can show the kids all his old haunts. But anyway, we're currently living in the lovely state of Hawaii. You guys worked so hard we thought you needed a box of aloha. First things first, it isn't a box of aloha without lays. We snuck in extra ones for Dan and Lindsay. If your kitties are like our kitties, they would eat the fake flower ones. Candy lays are all the rage during the graduation season. That's what these That's what are. The, I saw those starting to poke out of the box and I had no idea what they were. I just thought it was like candy, but now that I see, that's pretty neat. Okay, that's... I've never seen a candy lay before. I didn't know these were a thing, and it's and so like, cool. If you would have, if you would have told me the term candy lay, it would have made me think of like you know those candy necklaces. Yeah. That, but like giant. Giant. Mm -hmm. I would have never thought of doing this. This is a really cool idea. Anyway, one of our favorite things to do here is to go to the beach and see the Hanu or Honu, uh, which are sea turtles. They are such amazing creatures. Anyway, I remember the bonus vlog where Mal and Lindsay were looking for sea turtles and I thought you'd like a little one of your own. Oh, look how oh, cute Oh, that's it cute. Is. That's really cute. Yeah, um, Lindsay is part of the- Sea turtle, sea turtle, sea, sea turtle patrol. Sea turtle. And it says Hawaii on the back. I just, I just want to say t sea turtle patrol squad. Yeah. The squad is not in there, is it? Singing. It's just patrol, sea turtle patrol. Yes. I think it's an Aqua Teen thing that I'm thinking of. Um, yeah, she she's been a part of that for two years. Two years. Three years. Or something. Yeah. So yeah, she's really uh, really enjoyed doing that. The Hogwarts pin is actually for Lindsay. Maddie loves Harry Potter. She started collecting pins from blind bags, and she got a double of the Hogwarts crest. She thought that Lindsay might like to put it with her book collection. Lindsay's going to love this because Lindsay's going to love that. Her book collection has grown even more. <laughs> Yeah, she's 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 really getting some places on that book. Yeah, she is. The coffee tea and chocolate covered uh, coffee beans are from the Green World Coffee Farm. If you ever come to o Oahu, check it out. It's a pretty neat place. The coffee is grown and roasted right on site. I'm excited about that. I can I can put away some chocolate covered coffee beans. Hawaiian coffee cake flavored coffee. I bet that's good. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I, I, I firmly believe that the words coffee and cake belong together in any combination in and in any form. This is the um, 
surfs up tea. Oh, that's good too. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of uh, uh, loose tea. Yeah, we drink a lot of we, we tea act, and coffee. Like I, I, I love coffee, but we have we have much more tea than we have coffee. Salt and caramel. That's a weakness for me. I know it is. Is that another bag in there? Oh, yes it is. Sugar cookie. That would be my weakness. Also this, I'm realizing, this yeah. is like really well, like this was packed in the order that the leather will read, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. Like I'm going through and all of these things are like right on top. It's really wild. Anyway, the eraser sets are actually from Japan. Dieter travels a bunch for work and he's taken many trips to Asia. He brought home little sushi erasers for the kids one time and I thought that you guys would really like them as well. So we picked some up for you the next time he went. These are really cool. Those are super cute. Aren't they? There's like a little like breakfast bento because there's like pink. Japan, Japan, they come up with like the wildest stuff. Seriously, like they're just, they're always like little intricate detailed things. Like the, the popping cooking that you mm -hmm. make, yep. except you probably shouldn't eat erasers. No. Uh, I let the kids loosen the candy aisle and they picked out some local candy for you. Uh, they are really big into macadamia nuts here. Almost every single candy has some kind of nut in it. I hope that Mal can have them. And you can I eat, love macadamia nuts. Mal can eat yes. um, any nuts that aren't peanuts. Mm -hmm. So, and there's a, it's the legumes versus yeah, tree nuts. A, you can I can eat, have tree nuts. You can have tree nuts, but not legumes. Mm -hmm. So these are um, chocolate covered pineapple. That sounds pretty stinking good. It sounds good. really good. Um, it also says I put in some chocolate covered pineapple just in case. Oh, okay. Uh, Maddie picked out the Hello Kitty Hulu girl box. She thought it was too cute not to send. So this. let's see, we have... Suck seed. And this says the suck seed candy is special due to it being graduation season. I've never tried them myself, but I thought they were funny and might give you a chuckle. You want to try them? Let's see. Oh, they're kind of gushy. Gushy? Like not like... They're like gummy. They smell like, um, uh, I can't place it. What? Is it sour? Put it in your mouth. <laughs> you won't tell me what's going on. You just put it in your mouth. Some are white and some are red. I had a red one. Huh? I had a red one. I put it in your mouth. Let me get a red one so I can experience the red with you. I know what it reminds me of. <clears throat> it smells like a raisin, <clears throat> actually. <clears throat> Excuse you. Hmm. They're a little sour. It's like pickled plum that you'd put on a rice ball. Mmm. You're just supposed to suck on these. They have like a thing in the middle. Yeah. It's a, that's why it's called succeed, because there's a pit. Yeah, there's a pit. They're really sour. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> All right. It's definitely a... Uh, Acquired taste? A, well, no, it's a, it's a taste that'll stick with you. Is your tongue orange? Yeah. <laughs> Mine is too. Huh, how about that? Um, green tea chocolate covered whole macadamias. Those look really good. What? That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Any green tea chocolate covered anything is uh -huh. like that, that ex should exist. This looks like it's chocolate covered macadamias. A lot of macadamias. Well, they're expensive here and yeah. they grow there. This is dark chocolate covered macadamias. These are watermelon. Suck seed. Yeah. So it's more of the, the suck seed. But there's nothing but hard in the middle. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh, maybe the other ones were, you were able to consume them. <laughs> I thought you were supposed, on the other ones they had like a pit in the middle, and I thought you were just supposed to suck on them, and then like spit them out. So we spit them out. <laughs> maybe that was like I a nut. I couldn't have finished that. Maybe it was a nut or something maybe. inside. I don't but know. But these are just like sour gummy belts. Yeah. Mine are. Oh, well, the more you know. And these are gummy bears. There's a lot of the suck seed stuff. Yeah. I think it's all supposed to be sour, maybe. The movie is one the kids really wanted you to have. I don't know if you've seen it or not. We're on the journey, but I've only made it to June 2013, but it is really cute. I think it is the one that most gamers would enjoy. 
I have not seen this movie. We've wanted to see it. Yeah, we've heard like so many good things mm -hmm. about Wreck-It Ralph, but we've never seen it. I know that um, I've seen little bits and pieces of things mm -hmm. where like, obviously like a ton of identifiable video game characters show up in it, but I've never actually seen the, uh, the film. So thank you. That's awesome. I'm excited. I know like Bowser, there's one- Oh, look um, right here. Sonic yeah, Sonic's and in the front. Eggman. And Sonic, Eggman, Zangief. Hubert. Hubert. Mm -hmm. Um, another guy from, I don't, I'm not super familiar with the Street Fighter characters, but another Street Fighter character. There's a, there's a scene that I remember like from the trailer where it's like, uh, it's like an AA meeting, but it's like for villains mm -hmm. and like Bowser's there with like Eggman and like, that's just, that crossover stuff's really, really fun. Of course, we couldn't leave Kepler and Sagan out. They aren't specifically Hawaiian cat treats, but I felt that they kind of fit the theme. Kiki cat. Cat. Oh, that's cute. I like it. I'll Kiki. save that and not open it right this second. Yeah. They've already been all over us. Yeah, we actually we just now got them to leave us alone mm -hmm. from the previous cat treats, so we'll we'll just enjoy it from afar. Tiki cat treats, and it says last but uh, not least, I sent you some Aloha pancake mix. My friends were always asking me to send them care packages with these pancake mixes. I sent you one of each flavor. And of course, some special syrup to go with them. Hopefully it makes it. I've never sent syrup in the mail before and I hope it doesn't make a mess. So this is passion fruit flavored pancake mix. What? That's Blueberry cool. Akai. That's really cool. Wow, okay. <laughs> Chocolate, Chocolate macadamia nut. <laughs> That's crazy. Ooh, banana macadamia nut. Mal, I like banana Mal, things. Mal loves banana stuff. Um, strawberry guava. Ooh, there's so many of these. And then here's the syrup, and it looks like it made it, and it didn't get syrup everywhere. It's yeah, it doesn't look like syrup. it doesn't look like it leaked at all. So, wow. that made it. Wow, we wow, we wow. Um, is there something else in there? Oh, I found the Hello Kitty things. Oh, there we go. They're very cute. That is cute. Very cute. Well, I better start wrapping this up. Thank you so much for providing great videos. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? From Dieter, Renee, Maddie, and Dexter. That was awesome. That was that, really that was awesome. Like I, I really enjoy hearing. Um, I mean, from everyone, but like hearing from like an entire family that's enjoying the stuff we make is like really fulfilling. Mm -hmm. I, I think is the correct word for that. Like, certainly I absolutely appreciate like all of this amazingly delicious stuff and I want to eat one of these I do too. Right I need now. to get the other flavor out of my mouth. Do you want to split? I think this comes with two. Do you oh want to yeah, let's these? split that. I also feel like you would be down for the green tea chocolate. Yes, I am. I love that. So don't get me wrong. I am super excited about all of this stuff, but it's really, I don't know, it's really heartfelt to get leathers from like entire families. Like, that's really, really cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, these look awesome. So there you go. Thank you. And there's another one in here. So these are green tea chocolate covered macadamia nuts. Oh man, that's good. Mm-hmm. That's really good. I gotta admit, that does do a really good job of removing the taste of the sexy. <laughs> Because the succeed was super sour. I feel like these would be better than the 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 ones with the pits. Yeah. I also don't Because these are pits. like candies that we have otherwise. Mm-hmm. Because this is like the airhead sour stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The um I'm gonna have to double check those or, uh, and see if they're they're actually pits or not. Mm -hmm. Cause they were just hard and I was like, oh I, I I understand the concept of this. It's a sour thing you suck on until the outside is gone and then you spit the pit out. But it might maybe it was a nut. I don't. Know. <laughs> maybe it was something you can consume. Anyway, uh, Renee and and certainly your entire family, uh, thank you. This was an awesome little care package, um, and it's it's nice to experience. I mean, literally a taste of Hawaii. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. And it's also kind of cool. Um, their family name is one that I have on my tree. Yeah. Going back because yeah. we looked at it and I was like, that name is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whenever I saw the box, I was like, why is that familiar? And I was like, that's actually a family name. And I was like, oh, that's why. So that was really cool. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, that is it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you are watching and you want to learn more about how you can send Mal and myself 
a thing and uh, what to send and where you can send that, there is information in the description box down below. Uh, there's a link that'll tell you all the information you need to know. And that's, uh, that's it. There'll be more mail coming at you soon. As soon as, as soon as we can. It, we'll, we'll make it and then we'll have it and then we'll put it on the special conveyor belt that goes through the YouTube tubes into your screen. It's a very complicated process. Very. <laughs>